Hi, I'm Rob. I'm a registered dietitian and a nutrition specialist with the Neocate team. My most favorite part of my job is getting to talk with and help families with food allergies. And my second most favorite part of my job is getting to help develop Neocate recipes. Now, some of these ideas come from us, some of the recipe ideas come from healthcare professionals, and some of the ideas come from families like you. Today, we're making butternut squash soup. This is one of my favorite recipes because it's easy to fit into a meal for the whole family. So the first thing we're gonna do is walk through the ingredients for today's recipe. We have one half cup of pureed butternut squash. You can use canned butternut squash or you can make it yourself. We have one half cup of chicken stock and I'll walk through some other options for that if that's not on your menu. We have a quarter teaspoon of Italian seasoning, which is optional, and we have salt and pepper to taste, also optional. And our final ingredient is one half cup of Neocate Nutra. So this is our hypoallergenic salad for children with food allergies. All right, so the first step that we're going to do is take one half cup of the pureed butternut squash and we're gonna put that into a pot. To that, we're going to add the half cup of chicken stock. And I'm gonna give those a stir until they come together. Now we're going to put the lid on the pot and move it over to the stove and put it on medium-high heat. So we want to give that enough time so that it comes to a boil. So we're going to wait a few minutes for that to happen. Okay, so I'm hearing this boiling. So our next step is going to be to lower the heat to keep it on a simmer. I'm going to remove the lid and we're going to stir in the spices if you're using those. So again, that's one quarter teaspoon of Italian seasoning and salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna add a pinch of each and then if you're using them and you want to, later you can always add more to taste. We're gonna give this a stir, pull everything together, put the lid back on, and covered, we're gonna keep it at a simmer for about 10 minutes, so we'll come back in 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. We've had our soup at a simmer with the lid on, so our next step is to turn the heat off and move the pot off of the heat. We're gonna let that sit for five minutes to cool before we add the Neocate Nutra. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. We've let the mixture cool, and the next step is to add the Neocate Nutra powder. So we've measured out one half cup of the Neocate Nutra. Alternatively, if you'd rather, you can add that by the tablespoonful, and it's gonna be a total of eight tablespoons. So we're just gonna add this a little bit of a time, sprinkle some in, give it a stir to come together. Okay, so we've stirred in the half cup of Neocate Nutra powder and you can add a little bit of extra water if you find that the consistency is too thick. To give you an idea, this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna add some water just to show you how we can thin it. I suggest adding a tablespoon of water at a time. Let's see here. Give it a stir and see if it's the consistency that you're looking for. And I think we're good. So, we're gonna go ahead and put this into our bowl. Now the nice part about this recipe is that you can pull out a cup of a mixture if you're making soup for the whole family. So make sure that you do that before you add any ingredients that might be potential allergens like butter or cream. And then pick the recipe up from adding the Neocate Nutra. Okay, so let's give this a taste. Mmm, it's delicious. So this again is one of my favorite recipes, that's the butternut squash soup. And the nice thing about this is you can fit it into a meal for the whole family, but make this one special for your loved one with food allergies.